there are people who continually try to test the system. They try to test social media. They try to test YouTube. They try to push the boundaries in being an edgelord as much as they possibly can. And when they finally get censored, they cry foul. It's just like, well, why do you keep trying to push the boundaries so much? It's just like those people who will go to police checkpoints and try to push the buttons of the police as much as they can in their recording. And they'll constantly say, well, I know my rights over and over again. And if they ever, if the police ever, you know, overstep their bounds and don't do things according to protocol, you know, maybe they arrest the person, you know, that person cries foul. And they want this big pity party. And it's just like, why do you, how do you expect to have a pity party when you've done that? But, but our rights. Now, at least that side makes a little bit more sense than the people who complain that on a, on a private platform that their, their civil rights, their, they, there was one person I was having a discussion with. I'm not going to name the person because I respect the, 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 the guy, but he was trying to say, oh, when they censor you on social media, that's a violation of your human rights. Human rights? What in the world? No. Now, I, I think that we need to, I think the government should step in and regulate some of these companies so they can't censor as much as they'd like, you know? There needs to be a certain amount of the... the uh, philosophy, the concept of free speech, you know, but to claim that, that, uh, something that uh, being censored on a company's platform is a violation of your human rights. What in the world? What are you smoking? But there, there are people that just want to be as much of an edgelord as possible and then complain when they finally get censored. They know they're eventually going to get censored. That's kind of the goal. So then they can play victim later on. Not everyone. There are people that are trying to make reasonable arguments. There are some things that people have legitimate concerns over. You know, like some of the stuff that you see happening on college campuses and some of the mindsets that are making their way into workplaces. They're making, you know, into HR departments at workplaces. There's diversity training. There's uh, there's things that have made their way into mainstream media. Yeah, there's things to be concerned about. But when people talk about those things, that's not what's being censored. It's when people spread disinformation. It's when people do the edgelord thing. They're trying to be as crude and, and nasty and caustic as possible. You know, there's a difference. Sometimes it's hard to tell. Sometimes, you, I guess you could say it's a, it's a fine line. The differences between those things is a fine line. So, but you know, out of, out of all this, this time that some of the feminists have been complaining about the state of, of movies and such, you know, have, have they actually ruined movies? Do you know what I think are ruining these, the, all these action films? Oh, look at all, look, another Marvel movie with, uh, with epic battles. Superheroes in the epic battles. You, you know what's ruining those? It's not feminists. That's, that's the least of someone's worry. It's making movies in a formula way. There aren't any memorable soundtracks. There aren't very many memorable scenes. You know, you got these CG, uh, generated... Uh, fight scenes. You know, everything is filmed. It's it's dark with high contrast. Very few memorable lines. There aren't those iconic one-liners that just make you you just go, "Oh, that was awesome." It's all become very formula. And then you're going to blame the formula thing. Are you going to blame the formula on on feminists? Are you going to blame the formulas on? On SJWs? Are you going to blame it on the studios not willing to take any chances? How about video games? Very few new actual gaming concepts. Do you care really that much about the uh, the plot of the game, the storyline of the game? 
Or do you care more about the way the game plays, the game mechanics, you know, the physics engines of the games? You know, how does the game play? Is it fun to play? Are you going to claim that a game isn't fun to play if, if uh, there's a gay character in it? Are you going to claim it's not fun to play because, oh, there's a woman in a place that they probably wouldn't be in, you know, in a historical context? Does that make the game not fun to play? I mean, aren't games supposed to be about how fun they are to play? Are you just mainly upset that, that feminists are calling you misogynistic for enjoying some aspect of a game? I mean, you don't get all upset over, over the diehard Christians who say that you're satanic for you're doing the devil's work by enjoying the, these things in this game. I mean, it, what's the difference, really? So they're acting like religious people. So what? Have they actually ruined the game? Again, do, do you think that having a, a more diversity in a game, do you, does it really ruin the gameplay? Oh, you can't roleplay the way you want. Is that it? Is, the, is, it, is it all about roleplaying? If that is, I, I guess you, have, you might have some legitimate complaints, but so many of these games, they, they, you could mush them all together and they'd all have the same kind of gameplay. What's the big deal? That's why I don't understand all, all these complaints, because so many of the games play the same way. The same mechanics, the same physics engines. You know, was the blood not realistic enough? Did you want a, a better splatter engine? But no, let's, let's blame it on the feminists. Let's blame it on the SJWs. They're, they're ruining it all. No, the, the studios are ruining it all. The game companies are ruining it all. Nobody's willing to take any chances. They figure it's not really taking chances by putting more diversity in the games. It's not really taking chances. Having a completely different uh, physics engine, there's a lot of things they could do to the games that would be taking chances. But they're not doing any of it. Now, I'm not saying you can't be mad or you shouldn't be mad at some of what the feminists and SJWs are saying about the games. Fine, you know, be outraged. I don't know if it does you any good, but go ahead and be outraged. But do you think calling someone a cunt is going to help anything? Do you think harassing someone is going to help anything? If you've harassed someone a whole bunch, or your fans have harassed someone a whole bunch, and they call you a garbage person as a result, does that just destroy every does that just destroy your day? Does being an edgelord help gaming? Does it help movies? Does it help entertainment? Does it help the censorship situation? Does it stop censorship? How does being an edgelord help? Just like how does someone testing the police and saying, I know my rights over and over again, how does that help? I mean, with that, I mean, if enough people do that, the police will probably change their policies to be able to arrest someone over that stuff. Well, the Constitution says that we can't. Well, they might find a way around it, especially if enough people do it. If enough people push the boundaries. It's just like how in elementary school, you know, I'm sure everyone has experienced this some po at some point at elementary school, where one person ruins it for the whole class. That one person did something that was the final straw and now everyone else gets punished because of that one person. Well, that's the type of thing that happens in life. That's the type of thing that happens on platforms such as Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, etc. That's what happens. Do you think reality is going to change for you when you act like an edgelord? Again, there are valid things to complain about that some of the left is doing. There are very valid things to complain about. There are valid concerns. And those things can be brought up without having to be an edgelord. The edgelords are ruining it for everyone. The edgelords are making the system punish the whole class. I hope you're happy. I guess I don't know what more to say. If you've watched this far, thanks for listening. Ooh.